Hi guys, this is Harsh and today I am going to talk about ARP protocol and ARP spoofing. So as you can see that the second layer that is the data link layer is the layer in which the ARP protocol works. ARP protocol is used for communication within a LAN and ARP protocol uses MAC address for communication. So let us consider that machine A wants to communicate with machine B but A doesn't have B's MAC address but what it does have is B's IP address so what A will do is A will send an ARP request but as it doesn't know machine B's MAC address so this will be a broadcast message uh, as it is a broadcast message therefore the target MAC is set to all the zeros so when uh, A sends this broadcast message all the machines in the system will receive it and they will compare their IP address with the target IP address um, sent in the ARP request and if their IP address matches with that only then they will reply back to A as in this case machine B's IP address matches with the target IP in the ARP request so B will send an ARP response to machine A this will consist of its MAC address and thus a communication will be established between A and B uh, for communication in a LAN, all the machines they maintain this ARP table. This consists of IP address and MAC address. As we can see that ARP protocol is simple to implement, but what it doesn't have is authentication. Uh, so if anyone sends uh, an ARP response to A, A wouldn't check that whether it came from B or someone else. And this vulnerability is exploited uh, using what we call as ARP spoofing. So let us assume that an attacker is present in the LAN with A and B. So when A sends the ARP request along with B attacker also receives it and what it does it uh, does is it will send a fake ARP response to A uh, using B's IP address and its MAC address and A will update its ARP table because there is no authentication and A will think that attacker is B. Uh, here uh, as this is a, a man in the middle attack so attacker will also send B a message using A's IP address and its MAC address so B will also update its ARP table thinking that attacker is A so attacker will sit between A and B uh, attacker will receive packets from A send it to B receive packets from B send it to A and thus using ARP spoofing here a man in the middle attack is done so this is all about ARP protocol and ARP spoofing. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching.